Hi, good morning. My name is Anna Imagination and today I want to talk about the COVID shut-in that a lot of people are um, dealing with, that a lot of people have, have found when it's time to finally start coming out and, and maybe for you it's not time, but um, there's a lot of people who are now more terrified of coming out of their homes and getting back into society due to fear. And a little bit of background about myself. I was a shut-in for 20 years. And now, after utilizing my program, I am a social butterfly with a flourishing community that I am moving to the center of. And I, I, I can't explain enough how how much I know about being trapped in that shut in reclusive mind, terrified of being near people, terrified of conversing with people and just being in the presence of another person or even stepping outside of your door and now seeing where I am and what it took to get here. Um, when people, it's been two years um, since I've started building my social circle aggressively. It was as if something in me was making up for the 20 years I'd lost. And it was actually more than 20 years, but I won't get into that. Um, the process started when I was 15. That's really when I started to shut myself down. And I watched the, the pieces of it start to happen gradually and not so gradually. And it's the same thing I watched with everybody else with COVID, but it was like, COVID expedited the process that I underwent. So this video, I'm going to talk about what it is about the, the COVID shut-in state, social anxiety, and how to overcome it a little step at a time, because it's going to take little steps. Um, so first, I want to talk about how fear and shut-in and the, the whole psychological mess that's behind it, what's really going on. So basically what happens is um, when you start to go into a reclusive state, what you're really doing is looking for your comfort zone. Um, it's, you're going about life and you're not really thinking about anything. You're just doing, you know, you've got to go to the grocery store. You know, you've got to go to work. You know, you've got to get in your car and you don't really think about anything. And then, you know, the virus hit and it, 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 it just slammed into you and fear hit us. I mean, we all felt it. I, I don't have to elaborate on that fear of, oh my God, is it going to kill me? What's going to happen to me? And then so many of us saw people, family, friends die because of COVID. And it, it was enough to strike terror. And it did in a lot of us, especially if you are autoimmune compromised or if you are elderly. I, I mean, I get it. I, I, I was there with you. So this is what happened to me in in slow motion, basically. And I, and I think that's it, is my shut-in state was slow motion. Whereas everybody else, it was so fast that you, you didn't know what was the process. You, it was just so fast. And I've had that 20 years of going through it, that slow motion. It's It started slow with me where um, it was it was hard to get into my car. And then the next day, it was even harder. But what I really want to talk about is the comfort zone because that's really where it starts. It starts with you're, you're in a location and you have fear and you don't think so much about, oh, I'm scared, get me away from it. You do. That's actually it. But you also think about you want to be comforted. You, you want to be safe. And this, this is 100% safe driven. You 